وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى in this episode I want to speak about اختلاف الهمم وشهوات والأماني the variation and differences in people's desires and their aspiration the different aspiration that people have and the different desires that people have. There's even variation, my beloved brothers and sisters. There is even tafawutul himam hatta bayna al-haywanat. Even between the animals, they have different aspirations and different desires. For example, the ankabut, the spider, from the day it's born, it stands up itself to make its own house. It doesn't rely on its mother. Whereas if you look at the snake, it takes the hole that are made by other creatures. Because the tabi'ah, the nature of the snake is that it loves to oppress. If you look at the ghurab, the crow for example, the crow, yattabi'ul jif, the crow, it follows the corpse. It doesn't want to kill itself. It waits for the dead animals and then it eats it. Whereas the falcon that's loved and appreciated is different. It doesn't go for except that which is alive. It loves to take its own prey, its own uh, prey and, and, and get, it, get it while it's alive and, and eat it. The lion, لا يأكل البيت. The lion will never eat something that stayed around. He loves to eat fresh meat. You look at the elephant, for example. The elephant, what does it do? It brings out what's inside and it keeps chewing onto that until he eats it. And then it brings it back and he eats it. The variation in those animals, their aspiration is different. If you look at the beetles, and the insects, for example, for the fly, for instance, you hit the fly, it comes back again. You push it, you get rid of it, it comes back again. It doesn't give up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He created those creatures differently. Gave them different aspiration. And the same is present in the humans. I'm now going to mention a story. Abdullah ibn Umar رضي الله تعالى عنهما and Urwa ibn Zubayr wa Mus'ab ibn Zubayr wa Abdul Malik ibn Marwan all of them came together one day bi fina al Ka'bah they sat down in the Ka'bah one day Abdullah ibn Umar Urwa ibn Zubayr Mus'ab ibn Zubayr and Abdul Malik ibn Marwan as they were sitting in the Ka'bah Mus'ab ibn Zubayr he said to the rest of them. He said to them, Tamanno, let's all wish for something. And then they all said to him, since you're the one who's saying it, Ibda anta, you start for us. And then he said, me. They said, yes, you. He said, I wish, wilayat al-Iraq, I want to be the leader of Iraq. وَتَزَوُّجُ سُكَيْنَ تَبْنَةَ الْحُسَيْنِ and I want to marry the woman, Sukaina Tabna Ibn Al Husseini. I want to marry Sukaina. With Sukaina, I also want to marry, same time, Wa Aisha bin Talha Tabn Ubaidillah. Talha Tabn Ubaidillah is from the Ashar al Mubasharina bil Jannah, the ten that were promised Jannah alive. I want his daughter as well. I want those two women to be both my wives. Fanala Dalika. He got what he wanted. He worked towards it and he got it, Mus'ab ibn Zubair. He became the wali of Iraq and he did marry Sukaina ibn al-Husseini and he also married Aisha 
بنت طلحة بن عبيد الله. He married both of them 500,000 dirham was their marriage. And he also spent that much to um, uh, يعني make them a place to live, uh, a place, a house. So he had the funds and the money. What he was looking for, he got it. Urwat ibn Zubayrin, he said, what I wish for is al-fiqh. I want to be a faqih. And I wish the people can come and take the knowledge of hadith from me. فَنَالَ ذلك. Urwat ibn Zubayr became the seventh fuqaha of Medina. The poet, he said, إِذَا قِيلَ مَنْ فِي الْعِلْمِ سَبْعَةُ أَبْحُرٍ رِوَايَتُهُمْ لَيْسَتْ عَنِ الْعِلْمِ خَارِجًا فَقُلْهُمْ عُبَيْدُ اللَّهِ عُرْوَةٌ Seven from them is Urwat ibn Zubayr. Said the seven major fuqaha of Medina who... When you look at hadith books, Bukhari and Muslim, Abi Dawood, Tirmidhi, Ibn Majah, and Nasa'i, you will find Urut ibn Zubair. He used to enter onto his auntie, his maternal auntie, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. He would ask her all the questions that he wanted, took knowledge from her. He got what he wanted. Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, he said, I, wanna, I want to be the Khalifa to Muslimin. I don't want wilaya, I want a Khalifa. He got what he asked for. And Abdullah ibn Umar, he said, I want Allah to give me Jannah. And we hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we wish for him that Allah gives him what he asked for. So keep in mind, my beloved brothers and sisters, the variation in all of those men, what they asked for. Some asked for dunya and a woman and wealth. And Abdullah ibn Umar, he asked for Jannah and also uh, Urwat ibn Zubair. He asked for the knowledge of the religion, which is a means to Jannah. That's what Allah Ta'ala, he varied between the people. Qutaybat ibn Muslim, he one day said to Husayn ibn al-Mundir. This is me showing you the variation between the people. Before I go into Qutaybat ibn Muslim, what he said to Hussein ibn Mundir, I'm going to mention a statement that Umar ibn Abdul Aziz rahimahullah said. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, he said, Inna li nafsan tawaqah. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, he said, I have a nafs that is eager, hungry and thirsty. That's the type of nafs I have, he said. Taqat ila Fatima into Abdul Malik. My nafs desired and he was eager to marry Fatima bint Abdul Malik. Her father is Abdul Malik ibn Marwan. The one that was making the dua in the haram is her father, Fatima. I wanted to marry her. to Allah gave me. I married her. I achieved what I was looking for. And then he said, وَتَاقَتْ nafsi." Then my nafs wanted إِلَى imara To become a governor. فَوَلَّيْتُهَا I became a governor. وَتَاقَتْ نَفْسِي إِلَى الْخِلَافَةِ Then my nafs desired to go a bit higher than that. Not just be a governor now. To be the khalifa to muslimin. And I got what I wanted. فَأَدْرَقْتُهَا وَقَدْ تَاقَتْ نَفْسِي الْآنَ إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ Now today my nafs, all it wants is jannah. فَأَرْجُوا I hope أَنْ أُدْرِكَهَا إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ I hope that Allah عز وجل allows me to reach that. That is another example of when it comes to the people's shahwa and the amani and the himam. Amr Abd Aziz, he wanted who? He wanted Fatima bint Abdul Malik, he married her. Then he wanted the imara, he got it. Then he wanted the khilafa, he said, I got it. And then now I want jannah, now I want jannah. And I hope Allah gives me a jannah. Qutaybat ibn Muslim, he said to Hussein ibn al Mundiri, he said to him, Masurur, what is happiness? What is joy? He said, Imra'atun Hasna, a beautiful woman. Wadarun Qawra, and a spacious, spacious house. Wafarasun, a horse, Murtabitun bil and a horse that's tied in the front uh, portion of the house. That's it. Happiness for him is that. That shows you that 
that type that's his aspiration it was once said to a wise man tamanna wish for something hope for something say what you want and then he said muhadathatul ikhwan the con the dialogue the conversation between me and the brothers and I want to have enough life, I want to have enough wealth that gets rid of poverty from me. And conceals my private part. And moving from one shade to another shade. Yani I don't want to, the heat of the sun, I don't want it. So for him, what he wished for is muhadathatul ikhwad, brothers to talk to, and to be um, content, or to be given wealth enough that gets rid of my poverty and my needs. And also covers my private part, clothings that cover my private part. وَالِنْتِقَالُ مِنْ ظِلٍ إِلَىٰ ظِلٍ And a riding beast from that covers me from one shade to another. The Wasatu Tarafa Tamanna wish for something. And then he said Mat'amu Shahi good food. Wa malbasun dafi and good clothing. Wa markabun wati and a good riding beast. That's the type of aspiration he had that he asked for. Wa hakada tatafawatul himam and like that, as you can see, brothers and sisters, people's aspiration and desires differs. Everyone works towards the way he is and what he likes and what he enjoys. That's where his aspiration goes towards. You saw what Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu mentioned, Urwat ibn Zubair. Mus'ab ibn Zubair, Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, what they said. And inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to stop there, bi al kareem. Anything which I have said that was wrong is for me, shaytan, and Allah and his message are both free from it. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdi, ashadu an la ilaha illallah, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two-second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel. Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.